In this demo, I'll show you a little hack for getting new visuals onto a PDF. Uh, this would ideally not be used for the final product, but just for showing your designer your idea. So we'll use a couple of dummy products here. We have my publishing checklist from my website, and we're going to replace this little image of the polar polo bear. So here I have the image that we're going to use. I'm going to do a screenshot of this. I'm on a Mac, so the little yoga finger move here is Command Shift 4, and then I get crosshairs that I can click and drag over the entire image to save that image right to my desktop. And you've seen it pop up right here. It says screenshot and the time. Now, I want to make a stamp out of that. That's how I'm going to get it onto the PDF. So I have an intermediary step here. I need to turn it into a PDF because that works really simply to get to make it into a stamp. So I double clicked on it and that launched Preview, a program that comes with my Mac. And in this, I can simply say export as PDF. I'm going to keep it right on my desktop because that's super easy. There it is the new PDF version. Now I go back to back to Acrobat. I'm using Acrobat Reader here. That's the free version and this is version XI. So you can see you don't have to put out any money to be able to do this. I clicked on comments to open this commenting panel. Click on the little stamp tool. Scroll down to custom stamps. Create custom stamp. It says, where do you want to get this? There's my screenshot, double click. Click OK. I'm going to put this in my proofing set just so I can find it later. I'll call it umbrella image. You don't have to name it. You can leave everything as new stamp. That's just fine. Click OK. Now when I click on my stamps and go down to proofing, I'll scroll down and there is my image. So as you can see, it's enormous. So I'm going to click and drag to make it the size I want. Uh, it kept the stamp selected, so I'm dragging that around. I'm going to go up to the toolbar and click the hand tool to make it easier to move things around. Now I can click on the image and drag it, click a corner to resize it, and then add a note to my designer. Replace image as shown. And there's your hack.